Is this the final blow off? What's up, everybody? Welcome aboard to a midday edition of Bubba's Daily Update because I won't be able to do it after the close. So I'm sending you a midday view of what's going on in the markets today. Uh, we've got a major, we had a major blow off earlier this morning. And you saw with Google's earnings, the markets were soaring, the NASDAQ was soaring, and something happened all of a sudden. The NASDAQ turned around. In fact, the NASDAQ futures went from up 60 to now down, as I record, about 25. So this could be a total reversal here. This could be the final blow off top. We're not making an official prediction here yet, but it's awfully close. The Dow is still extremely strong. At the t t right now is up about 250. S&P is weakening as well. So we have that divergence between the different markets and the Russell was getting clobbered basically all day. So you're seeing a lot of action here, which is increasing some volatility. But interesting enough, the VIX has not got what you would think gone crazy. So we're still in this period. I do think that we might see the final blow off throughout the week. I would be it would be not a surprise if the Nasdaq stay lower and the S&P turn lower today. I don't know if the Dow can turn totally reverse. Anything's possible. I'm not saying it can happen. I'm not sure. It's hard to get a great read because we're still lacking some volume. But there's a lot of things going on in the street right now. Uh, you see oil trying to spike a little bit higher, up about a dollar at this time. Uh, gold's up a couple of bucks. Uh, the bonds are slightly up. But, you know, we're seeing the euro currency, which rallied hard again, is now failing, which is making the dollar stronger. So there's a lot of things happening. Grain markets are extremely mixed. Uh, beans are strong. Corn and wheat are a little bit weak. But it feels like there's an announcement coming out here at some point. Again, we know that uh, President Trump is meeting with Europe tomorrow. We know that Mexico, I think, has already put together some sort of a, a deal. I think China's going to come to the deal, and I think the, the grains are going to explode to the upside. I think that will be part of this whole weekly package that we're watching here. We've got a big GDP number expected right now. Will these expectations, can they be exceeded? I don't know. I mean, it's been awfully crazy in, in the markets at the moment. So what we're looking at here is a, a market that is really getting ready on edge. And now that the, we could extend, extend and blow off even farther, I think it wouldn't be a surprise to me if we saw NASDAQ, I mean, excuse me, not NASDAQ, but the S&P make new highs. Uh, and of course, it wouldn't be a surprise that Russell make new highs. Here's what you've got the rest of the week to, to keep on your mind. You've got Boeing earnings tomorrow morning. You've got Facebook earnings tomorrow afternoon. You've got Amazon on Thursday afternoon. You've got the ECB Thursday morning. So all of these events combined, if they all come out with positive news, this looks like a rush into the market. This looks like everybody's following the herd and we could see the final blow off if we haven't seen it already and then the reversal in the market. And that's what we'd be looking for. I think there's probably a little bit more room on the upside. This may just be a, a quick pullback off of an early blow off, but I think you could see much higher price here. Bitcoin is now at about 8,200. So we thought that was going to go higher. Overall, I think you got to watch this market very carefully because it is getting very edgy. And we're seeing with all these stock buybacks, the people that are buying are selling into them are the insiders. So it indicates to me that this is the last push up. Now, how long it will last? I don't know. But I would think that we'd have a great idea by Friday, if not sooner, where it's going to go. But this looks like it's the last push up. This looks like finally people are getting into the market that have been out for the last 10 years and missed the entire rally. And now they're believing in it again and they're going to start to pour in. And that's usually the end of the market. I think we're very close to the end here. I think the cycle is just about over. I think we look for an opportunity to sell. Now, we're not going to rush. We're not going to be in a hurry. We need to have some volatility come back with the markets. But overall, we've got big numbers coming out the rest of the week. I don't think they'll disappoint. So I think we have a chance to see the final blow off, the final push higher. And this is Bubba's Daily Update. Sorry again for the midday, but let me know if you like the midday. Maybe we'll continue to do a midday update as well. In the meantime, Bubba's Daily Update, make sure you check out our high school program, highschoolinvesting.com. And you can help us out by going to Patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N.com forward slash Bubba Trading. And don't forget to get to the Bubba Show every day from 4 to 5 Eastern at LibertyTalk.fm. Have a great day, everybody. Thanks so much. We'll see you back here tomorrow on Wednesday for Bubba's Daily Update. Have a great day, everybody. Thanks.